Okay, Jimmy, I just came in from uh, adjusting the antenna just a little bit. Go ahead and run a run a speed test here. See how we do. Oh, I'm getting a lot of glare off the. Hold on. I think see that speed. Look at that. 45, 46, 47. <laughs> that was just a slight adjustment I just did. We're using an app on the on my other phone called Open Signal to help me point the antenna a little bit better. So you can see that 43, 76 average download. Pretty sweet. And just so you'll see. Oh, where's that other window? Bear with me here, man. And right here. Okay, you can see the only thing I've got activated is, is the Ethernet. Uh, Wi-Fi is turned off, so I'm not getting any other signal from any other place other than the Ethernet. It's the only thing enabled on the laptop. So that's that's coming from the uh, you know from the, the hot rod router. So hold on, let me get the light back on. So what I ended up doing, try not to move this too fast. Uh, I mounted it up here above the armoire. It's not real pretty, but um, but it's functional. Um, basically, just I've kind of ran an extension cord. I've, I've got to do something with these wires, but for now they're just kind of. I mean, no big deal. They're just sitting in. There's no, there's not nothing's pulling on either one of them. And then I got some of this. Uh, oh, I forget what you call this stuff. These little cable cable covers. And then I ran I ran the power cable all the way around the top. All the way around the top, around the corner here, over by the hot water heater, and then you can see down, and then out, uh, out right here, with a little bit extra, so I can run it uh, again. I can plug it into the inverter power strip, or right now I've got it, I've got it plugged into the, uh, you know, the shore power power strip, so it's running off uh, electricity. So yeah, so I got that there, and then for the the Ethernet cable. You can see I just kind of ran it up and then started another another strip of this this white plastic stuff. Ran it across. I guess I'm gonna get over here. Ran it across over here and then down into the corner. Then cut it over and then you can see and then finally down down right here and then it comes out right at the desk, right at the top of the desk. Um, got about two feet of extra cable. I've also got some little female to female adapters coming in case I need more, you know, if I need more wire here at the desk for running to, uh, cause I'm thinking if I'm working in here in the laptop, I'm going to put the desktop uh, unit on the floor. So I'll need, I'll need to run a little bit extra cable. So I've got these little adapters coming to do that. But, uh, so far so good. Everything's, uh, everything's working good. I still need to run power over here. Um, I don't know if you recall underneath the bed in the far corner, I believe there's one outlet, one regular 110 outlet in that corner underneath the bed. So I can snake up uh, an extension cord from that far corner, you know, all the way over here, underneath here, and probably mount a power strip right under here somewhere so that we can plug into, uh, plug into everything here on the desk. But it's all functional. It's all working. Uh, you can see the little, the little, inter the little internet lights are, are lit up on the, on the Mophie. Um, yeah, and then I've just got, um, I've just got the, the, uh, the screen open just a, you know, a half inch with the cables coming in. I've got them mounted on, on the outside wall here with the suction cups. Um, I certainly don't need 25 foot cables, but for now it's no big deal. I can just put the extra outside. That's another kind of drawback. If I'm moving around a lot, I'm going to always have to keep getting up here and reconnecting, you know, reconnecting the two, the two antenna wires on each side. So I'd like to come up with maybe a better system. I mean, it'd be cool to have have something run out to the wall, you know, like have a cable connection on the outside where you would just screw, you know, instead of screwing these into here, you know, have, have these run into a panel and then outside just screw the cables into the panel outside to, uh, you know, to hook them up instead of having to undo them from off the, off the, uh, the modem every time. But so far it's working pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a little finicky. I mean, when, when I disconnect and then come back like overnight, I sometimes I do have to run the setup wizard again to get everything connected right. But once it's connected and running, you know, which if you're if you're staying put for a while, it's not, you know, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be an issue. But so far, so good. Anyway, just want to give you an update. Just hanging out in the trailer on the laptop right now. 
back over to that speed test. There we go. 43, 76 down, 297 up, not too shabby.